Hey guys, what is up and welcome to LucasArts Games and in this video we are going to be playing all the way past January, I think. Um so you guys got to make sure to like and subscribe. Um watch all the other videos going to FIFA 23 soon, so um yeah, you got to make sure to like and subscribe. Um situation, we are first in the Premier League. Europa League, though, I am kind of scared, but not too scared, because we are third, and we are, could get grouped to the Conference League, and I don't want that to happen, because I can, I think we can win Europa League. So, this is <clears throat> the squad, and... We signed Gakpo and Chimeni last game. So basically, yeah, this is the squad. Um, subs are good. And I've taken a job from Portugal. Transfer window is open soon. I'm not looking to sign anyone. Maybe one player if we have the money. And he would only be a bench player. So let's get into um, the Southampton games. Simming that. I'm going to sim that. And then we have a very important um, Europa League game to stay in the group. So, we have a game against Southampton, simming that. <clears throat> Hopefully a win. 2-2 Two -two draw. Take that, but we cannot afford too many of those. As we are second place now, I think. And the real focus of this video is... The Europa League and Cody Gakpo already going up two ratings at the age of 23. He is 85, which is insane. Finally, this guy grew, kind of waiting on him. Maybe next year, if we get to that next year, we will try to find a replacement center back. But in the meantime, we need to play a game against Copenhagen. I know it's an easy game we should win, but we've drawn twice and we cannot take that so we have to win this game that's why i'm playing you know what i'm gonna give lunin a start it says he's plus five but i don't know where he's got that from and i'm gonna put this guy on the bench as well as plant and lozano just to give these guys a break for next game as we do versus fulham in just two days so we need a win here to stay alive i'm yet to play a game this season play a game this season with my best players on and off the pitch so subs i've never played with good subs this season i've been trying a couple different things because it didn't work last season that well and everyone was so tired so i just had to do that and hope it's been working obviously but obviously against man city and teams like that I'm going to have to put, start my really, really, my best 11, or best 16. Darwin Nunez, first real opportunity we have. Gakpo! Oh, how have we missed a chance like that? Nunez! Nunez fake shot. Not really what I wanted, Ronaldo! Ronaldo! How's Ronaldo? Fernandez! Oh, how have we missed it? I'm screaming in here. Is Diaz like the Chelsea rebuild? Can he? He's curls back. Oh, maybe he can! What a shot! Curling it just like we did in the Chelsea rebuild, but with Diaz. Holy, this is why we signed Gakpo. And just one goal is needed to get that win. Close game, but. I think we could have won by more, but a win is a win for me, and let's go. I think we're still in it. Oh, Villarreal win by a touch. I think we're still in it. So, Ronaldo leads the league in goals and assists with seven and eight goals. Most goal contributions, as you'd expect. And in this game against Nottingham Forest, I'm expecting a win because we need it this season. We have the team to win it, to win the Premier League. Everyone is so balanced. But in this game, I want to start 
um, a different player, a model, and a plant. I don't think that'll be good, but uh, hopefully a tie would be good. And it is 3-0. Even better, Ronaldo, Rafa, and Jota comes on to score. Guys, when we need it, we need to play our best players. We are in second, seven points, Villarreal in first, Copenhagen six, and the last team has no chance of making it. We need a win, so all the players that should be on the bench are on the bench, and we need a win. I'm not risking any youngsters getting into the game and us losing, so let's get into it. We're going for a win, as always, and we need it. Ronaldo. Oh, gives it to Gakpo. Ronaldo with assist to put his tally very high for Gakpo, who has not scored in a very long time. Can he find Darwin Nunez? Nunez, what can he do? Oh, Ronaldo. Nunez. Nunez with a goal. What? Two zero up. Ronaldo with another assist yet again. Ronaldo's second assist, and I don't know what happened, but since he moved to Benfica, um, he's been being more generous to his teammates, as you guys can see, 10 assists on the season, and which is really shocking because in real life he isn't necessarily like that. At Manchester United, he definitely wasn't, or not definite, he wasn't. And he kind of just messed up a bit of his career. So I'm just trying to like bring him back to like the Real Madrid days kind of. Days kind of. Ronaldo, can he hit? Oh, that was a beautiful hit from Ronaldo. It's hit. We've let in a goal as you guys can see here. I'll just play it from there. Not a great tackle there, and not a great tackle there either. My fault, ultimately, but yeah, could have done better for me. Can he find Ronaldo? Can he get one of his? Ronaldo? Can he score? Ronaldo! Beautiful ball from Chimeni and Ronaldo. 99 finishing, I'd say. He's obviously finishing it. I've yet to play with Ricky, and I'm going to give Morato... Um, start and hopefully a um, sub and um I might sub on maybe Amado even Chaloba maybe I'll do get one back but we still hang on to 3-2 win hopefully the other team loses so we have an automatic qualification and um I'm trying to find it it's a draw I think that puts us through so I think that puts us automatically through because um, it is um, FC Copenhagen versus Villarreal. And if they tie, uh, we'll stay top and Copenhagen will stay at eight. And if Villarreal wins, Copenhagen won't go up. And if Copenhagen wins, Villarreal won't go up. So we are automatically in. Um... If you guys like the series, go to put a like and subscribe. Simming this game against Arsenal. I just think the team can do it. All the way to here. And hopefully we get three wins. Two a win. I don't know about the Everton one. Hopefully Brentford should be an easy win. It is. I'm going to start some players that normally don't start. So I, hopefully it's still a win. But it doesn't really matter. So this is the squad, weird, very weird squad actually. Dia or Cruz, I'm gonna start him at left back. And this is the squad, my weirdest squad I think I've had for a pretty long time. Hopefully we don't get crushed and I think we can still win with this team because the strikers look very nice. Ramos starting and let's see, can we get a win here? Um, we do not, but that's fine. So, end of the video. Villa, sim of that game. Let's get into it. 15th place, Aston Villa. 1st place, Benfica. 
It is a draw. It's okay. It's okay. Can't afford too many of those if we want to win the Premier League. And as of right now, we are in an amazing position to win. Six points in front of Manchester City. And Ronaldo, first place in goals, first place in assists. So, Ronaldo's popping off right now. Nunez picking it up slowly. Gakpo and Grimaldo. And Rafa kind of slowing down there because of that age, I think. And Fernandez has actually been doing very well. I'd like to see more from Chumeni, though, if he wants to um, show what he can do. And, um, yeah, that's um, pretty much it. Um, for the video, Dalo is on the bench. I mean, he's not fully fit yet. Um, so you guys got to make sure to like and subscribe. Watch all the other videos. See ya!